What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about ROM. If you've never heard of ROM before, ROM is a web UI for archiving and managing retro console games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install it in two different ways, both through TrueNOS Scale and through Dockage on TrueNOS Scale. I'm going to show you guys how to do data sets and how to do permissions, and then we're going to jump right into the interface. So I'm going to start right now with the install. Uh, I'm going to do this through Dockage, and I'm going to do this through just a basic Docker Compose stack. So if you come over here to the wiki, you'll see the new ROM page that's still a little under construction, but we're working on it. It's down here under ROM. You'll see under the installation section, there are two tabs, one for TrueNOS Scale, the other for Docker Compose. So if you have TrueNOS Scale, this is gonna be the, the steps you're gonna need to follow. And if you have Docker Compose, this is the Compose file you're gonna use. Either of these is gonna require some configuration files to be made. So you'll notice here the volumes are in mount tank configs in ROM. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump over here to data sets. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do tank and I'm gonna add a data set here called configs. And I'm gonna do this as apps, like so. And under configs, I'm gonna add a directory for ROM. I'm doing this specifically either way. If you're going through the TrueNOS install, you're gonna have a bunch of subdirectories under ROM. If you're doing through dockage, uh, you will only need to do one directory like I'm showing here. So because this is a little faster, this is basically the way I'm gonna do it, but it's basically the same thing no matter what. In order to use host path correctly, we're gonna have mount tank configs and then ROM just like that. So you'll notice my configs directory has my apps user built in and my ROM directory has, uh, sorry, data set has apps built in. So now that we have that, I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna grab my Docker Compose. I'm gonna be inside of Dockage really fast. And then I'm going to deploy, uh, compose, and then deploy this new stack for ROM. Come over here, I'm gonna hit a control V. All right, we're gonna just take a look at this really fast. Uh, basically, I've got it running on port 30061. Um, I've already created a, so a ROM auth secret key for you using open SSL ran hex 32. You can replace this with your own if you want. I've inputted some just basic insecure information here. I recommend you go in here and select better passwords than I have. I've left all my client IDs and secrets and API keys blank. You guys can come in here and fill them out. You'll notice here in my volumes, ROM wants a lot of things. There's a, a path of resources, Redis data, assets, config, and the uh, and the library itself. So I actually have to come back here and I'm just gonna create this data set as well, mount tank ROMs. I'll come out here in tank and I'm gonna add a data set and it's just gonna be called ROMs. that and I'm going to give it apps permission and this is where all my existing ROMs would go if I actually had any so that's going to create and now I'm going to come over back to dockage so that's where all these volumes are pointing uh, you can see here that this is going to be my 430061 and it depends on the database this is the database down here again pick better passwords than me um, this is going to create another volume inside mount take configs ROM for my SQL data and that's pretty much it. There are no other variables. So now that this should be created, and it is, we're gonna come back in here and we are gonna deploy this stack. If you wanted to deploy this stack using TrueNOS, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So coming back to TrueNOS, if I have apps, I'm gonna do discover apps right here. I'm gonna search for ROM, and you're gonna see it right there. Here we go. So the option here to install, I'd click the install, this is going to give me that. So basically, it's going to ask me for the things that I've already created in the Dockage and the Docker Compose file. You're going to have to create a database password. You're going to have to create a Redis password, and you're going to have to generate that auth secret key. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to borrow the secret key that I made before. And you have the option here of putting in your client IDs and client secrets. Uh, I'm going to leave it as 568, the web UI port. I'm going to leave just like that, and that's just fine. I'm going to come down to storage config. Now, here's going to be the difference between Dockage and TrueNAS. So the ROM library storage, like I've created, well, Dockage has created a host path already for all of these things. So I just pointed it to the mount tank configs ROM directory, and then it's going to create all these subfolders. So in TrueNAS, you're going to have to actually make sure those folders exist. But if I come over here to host path, so we mount tank configs. ROM, and you'll see here, Dockage has already created that for me. So I, I can just point, this one is library storage. Um, I can point it at one of the folders that's already uh, made. So actually this one is gonna be here. This is where the library storage is for ROM. Uh, for the resources storage, I'm gonna do host path. It's gonna be mount tank configs ROM, and this is 
resources. So it's gonna be the resources like that. And then config out tank configs ROM configs. And again, if you didn't deploy this with dockage first, like I did, you're gonna have to actually go in here and create all of these in the data sets path using the apps preset. Uh, so this is assets tank configs down here, ROM assets. And then the last one, this is the one I wanted you guys to pay attention to. When you come here for host path for anything that's Postgres, so I'm gonna pick here, mount tank configs ROM, and this is the database SQL storage. So again, this one's actually using Postgres versus SQL. That's the difference. You're always gonna to wanna to check the automatic permissions box. So anytime you have a Postgres database that's being installed, you're gonna to wanna to create the subdirectory under ROM and you're gonna to want to click automatic permissions. I'm not gonna change anything else and to deploy on TrueNAS, I'm just gonna click the install button and it's gonna install. It's gonna bring us to the same screen that Dockage is. When this is done, I'm just gonna click the, uh, the port number here and we're gonna open up the interface. So now let's jump to that. Let's jump over here and here we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an admin user and we're gonna create some credentials. So my username is just gonna be admin. My username is gonna be admin at admin.com because again, everything is insecure because this is just a text box. I'm gonna click next. You'll notice all my metadata sources are not here because I didn't put in any of those keys in the Docker Compose. That's fine, I'm gonna hit finish. And now I'm gonna log in with the credentials I just made. And here we are in the interface. You'll notice it is very empty because I haven't added anything yet. But if you know ROM and you're familiar with the software, you know that this is pretty much the hard part. We're already up and running. So here is where I would search for uh, my ROMs across all platforms. This is where I would see the platforms themselves. This is where I would see a list here and I could always add from things that I already have. And I can upload from my local computer. For example, if I had anything in my local files uh, that I would like to upload, and store here. This is gonna allow me to do all my management with metadata and all these things. And you can come in here and manage a library if you actually had one. But this is the main interface and you can see it's clearly working very well. This is a really, really cool piece of software that I encourage you if you have and do this kind of stuff to really play with because it's, it's pretty amazing. So I just wanted to show you guys this today. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to ask more questions about this stuff, definitely jump on the Discord forum. We have uh, a lot of vibrant communities going on in Discord right now. I encourage you to jump on there and have a conversation with these guys. Visit the wiki. That page is under construction. We're going to continue to build it out as more and more information becomes available. And I would like to say thank you for everybody that supports me. And if you really want to support me, please buy me a coffee.